So there's a uh, biggest study ever on myocarditis and the vaccine. Vaccine study of 23 million show risk of heart problems from Moderna and Pfizer jab. And the subheadline, this is from Express, the subheadline is the risk of heart inflammation after receiving doses of the Moderna or Pfizer COVID vaccines has been laid bare in a huge new study of 23 million people. Myocarditis, that's the name given to inflammation of the heart muscles or myocarditis. Marcardium, the condition which typically results from viral infection, can serve to reduce the heart's ability to pump blood and result in the development of a rapid or irregular heart rhythm. Various reports from Canada, Israel, and the U.S. have indicated that there may be an increased risk of myocarditis following the administration of mRNA vaccines against SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. Furthermore, preliminary data from studies in Canada and France have suggested that myocarditis incidence rates may be higher following the Moderna vaccine than the BioNTech Pfizer jab. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, has already asserted that people infected with COVID-19 have a greater risk of myocarditis and other inflammatory heart conditions than those vaccinated against the disease. So they're saying that you're going to get myocarditis more often if you get COVID-19 than if you than you get it from the vaccine. That's what the CDC is saying. And in the UK, Health Security Agency has advised that cases of myocarditis and pericarditis are very rare following vaccination and usually present as mild or stable cases without patients typically patients typically recovering fully without medical treatment. That's what they say. So to investigate this further, epidemiologist Professor Richard Lung of the Swedish Medical Products Agency and his colleagues, they studied health data on a total of 23.1 million people from Denmark, Finland, Norway, and Sweden from December 2020 to October 2021. The team looked for incidences of myocarditis and pericarditis and, for each case, considered the subject sex, age, and vaccination specifics. So overall... The team identified 1,077 cases of myocarditis and 1,149 cases of pericarditis among their four study cohorts. So if my math is right, that's uh, uh, around 2,200 people with uh, either myocarditis or pericarditis, so a little over 2,000. Examining those subjects who had been jabbed, the team found that the likelihood of developing myocarditis was higher following the second dose of corona vaccine. I've gotten both. Specifically, the risk appeared to increase by 75% with the BioNTech Pfizer vaccine. And are you ready for this? 550% with the Moderna vaccine. Jesus Christ. Maybe uh, share your recipe with uh, Moderna. Yeah. (laughs) Like, holy crap. There's that much of a difference in the two. Excellent vaccines. <laughs> Excellent vaccines. For, moreover, the team found that myocarditis risk following two jabs was highest for young men between 16 and 24 years of age. I remember this on Rogan. So, no, this is this is a different study. This is a much bigger study. Well, he that, got that, corrected, right? That study, that study on Rogan got it, that was um, retracted. So that it was in the Guardian. That article got published. It yeah. got published in the uh, in the Guardian. That's what Joe was referring to. But then later they went back and retracted that study. So that oh, wow. they made it made it look like Joe was pushing a false study, but he wasn't. He was reporting the news, and then they retracted the news. Oh, wow. So, and this is from October six, twenty twenty one, and this is from the Scientist magazine and it said the danish health agency is suspending administration of moderna's covid19 vaccine for people under 18 years of age while sweden announced today that it is doing the same for people under 30 so that was last october they stopped giving the moderna vaccine to people to young uh, people under 18 years of age and under 30 in sweden also germany joined they did the same thing for people under 30 no more moderna and the french they uh, announced that it recommends pfizer vaccine for people under 30 of age so they did the same thing because they found that inflammation in this population is five times lower than for the moderna's vaccine so the moderna vaccine according to this was giving more heart inflammation than the pfizer especially the young boys 
According to Reuters, some countries are only administering one dose of the Pfizer vaccine in children and teenagers out of concern over possible rare cardiovascular side effects, which are more common after the second shot than the first. These include Norway, South Africa, and the United States. So a lot of people are onto this problem with the vaccine. You don't ever hear about it in the United States. So, and let's remember when Trump was president, every Democrat was fomenting vaccine hesitancy. Here's Joe Biden. When we finally do, God willing, get a vaccine, who's going to take the shot? Who's going to take the shot? You're going to be the first one to say, put me, sign me up. They now say it's okay. If the president announced tomorrow we have a vaccine, would you take it? Only if it was completely transparent that other experts in the country could look at it. We all know it wasn't. We all know they had to get a court order to release their vaccine trial data. So who was the guy fomenting vaccine hesitancy? Of course, the head of the country, Joe Biden, and the head of the Democrats. It wasn't Joe Rogan. It wasn't Jimmy Dore. It was this guy. Only if we knew all of what went into it. If Donald Trump can't give answers and administration can't give answers to these three questions, the American people should not have confidence. But if Donald Trump tells us that we should take it, I'm not taking it. Everything changed as soon as they got in power. Now everybody's a bad, you're a dumb Trumper if you don't take it. If you have any questions whatsoever, you're an anti-vaxxer. They changed changed the definition of anti-vax, what it means. And of course, uh, the, the people who came at me disingenuously are gutless cowards who don't have the courage to tell the truth about a law about the government lie that'll get them in in trouble for telling the truth about. But those people don't come from comedy. And the ones that do are extra sad. <laughs> extra sad. Wow. To see comedians who who still don't accept that we landed on the moon and think Elvis is still alive have no critique of the COVID vaccine policy is pathetic. Is to see these people become wedded to their fear point. And that's all it is. People who are pro-mandate, they are just wedded to their fear. You think uh, they were just did, like I always wonder about that because it's so blatant them saying this in the beginning. And I remember when they were saying it. Yes. Nobody else I know seems to remember it. No like, one. Is it just that they're not even watching the approved sources <laughs> of what the, to think? And they just like, I just sign me up for I don't like Trump. That's it. I don't like Trump. And so whatever that is, I'm going to say it and repeat it and and I'll ingest it. So there you go. There's the biggest uh, study ever. And uh, so I, more stuff will come out. I can't say a lot of things on YouTube. Uh, they'll, they'll take my channel down. So I have to be careful. And so there, there you go. I have to keep telling you that the vaccines are fantastic. They work. And, um, and uh, that study's a lie. I think I have to tell you that. <laughs> so I'm just I'm just showing you that study for information purposes. I'm not a doctor. I'm not giving medical advice. I'm just telling you, showing you a news article I read. It's probably wrong. It's not even right. You should listen to the CDC and the FDA and the people who are going to be working for Big Pharma in a, in a minute. <laughs> I save all my crazy talk for Twitter now. Yeah. Uh, ah! <laughs> We're doing live stand-up shows in Cleveland, Columbus, Pittsburgh, Des Moines, Omaha, Kansas City, Las Vegas, all over the country. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for a link for tickets. And single tickets now available at all venues. So if you tried to buy one before and you couldn't, single tickets are now available. Plus, while you're at JimmyDoreComedy.com, why don't you become a premium member? Sign up to our mailing list so when they cancel us, we can still stay in touch. (laughs) 